planted 600 land care trees around both our paddocks. We've got lots of fruit trees in our backyard which we water with our used water. I try to turn off all the lights at home when they're not being used. We've planted 3,000 land care trees on our new property. When we have a shower we save it in a bucket and then we pour it on the plants outside. On our new house we're going to run all our power by solar. We build gardens and we weed it and we make sure we use um, not, not too much water. I know that I'm doing my part in the greenhouse gases problem and doing my part for the world. You get to learn about it while you're caring for it and also you get to do your bit to help the world and if all the trees disappeared we wouldn't have enough oxygen. I'd have to say global warming because as a result of that it's affecting our water supplies and they're dropping rapidly so the towns don't get enough. Um, having the sensation of you've actually accomplished like a really good achievement helping the environment. I'm concerned because the, our generation of kids have been learning enough about it and in the future they just won't know and they won't be able to care for it like the other ones have. Well I'd buy more equipment and for the veg garden and I'd um, to, and to also help plant more trees around the school. Well at school we have um, noisy miners, kookaburras, fairy wrens in our garden, magpies, sometimes we see eagles, peewees, we have grass parrots, honey eaters, sometimes possums, and we have um, squirrel gliders. Sometimes out on farms we see kangaroos jumping around the paddocks of Roselle sitting in our crab apple trees out the back. In year three I helped um, make this garden and we put the year threes put the irrigation in and we did help put the first load of veggies in. We have fruit and vegetables in this garden and we eat lettuce, chives, herbs and beans from it. Because when your veggies are fully grown you get to eat them and they, they taste better than the ones you get at the supermarket. Well I like gardening at school because you get out of doing work and it's good to work with other people. When we go to the supermarket we use green bags and also sometimes we take in cardboard boxes which can also be recycled. When um, mum goes to the supermarket she does use green bags. Yes, my mum always uses green bags when we go shopping. Through Junior Landcare the, the message is being spread right throughout the broader community. Uh, we see uh, action taken on farms with the children's parents with tree planting. Uh, we see action taken within the town boundaries with street planting. Uh, generally speaking, the kids become more environmentally aware of what's happening around them. It not only not only concerns uh, the flora, but the fauna too, and uh, planting of trees within the town. They, they like to keep the place tidy. It's all part of the junior land care ethic. Children involved in uh, junior land care programs and gardens at school is a wonderful opportunity to develop children's self-esteem, and it gives children confidence to tackle tasks they wouldn't normally uh, tackle. And also, the children send home these messages to their parents and you see activities at home being duplicated that were initiated at school. It teaches them a lot of skills such as cooperating and getting along together outside and also a lot of outside skills such as um, learning to, to grow plants, um, how to look after them, where we get our food from. That it just doesn't come off their supermarket shelves, so it comes out of the gardens originally. The Junior Land Care program helps the children by, like us, planting at school, um, recognising what we're doing at school with our garden beds. We're planting drought resistant plants, so plants that we, um, the children help to prepare the garden bed, um, collect mulch, look at the plant, see how big it's growing, how much water it needs. The children are always running up and saying, telling me all sorts of things of what they're planting at home and how they're going home talking to their mums and dads about the drought resistant plants they're planting at school and design, um, companion planting as well in the veggie garden. As a landholder I think it's uh, really beneficial for young people to be involved in land care as, as children in the hope that as they grow up they will embrace land care and care of the farming land for the rest of their life. I think it's essential to ensure that kids get a good look at nature when they're very young in the hope that they will proceed to embrace nature and care of the land for the rest of their lives. It's fantastic when they start at a very young age to appreciate the environment and to understand why we're planting the trees and 
looking after wildlife. Um, I bring my adult students out to, uh, to have a look at them. Our students will be helping junior land care if they get out in the community in jobs. Boys and girls love being outside and different students uh, learn in different ways and getting outside, getting their hands dirty, cooperating with other children and working with adults can be a really positive way of engaging students in non-traditional ways of teaching and learning in schools. It's terrific to see the results.